what's up guys it's your boy trey fragrance and i'm back with another video if you're new to the channel make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notification because i will be posting more content for you guys so in this video this will be a long video it will be a little long video but i will be showing y'all the top 13 ultimate guide summer men's fragrances of 2024 so if you're looking for a summer fragrance y'all please pay attention you know these fragrances are great well-performed fragrance some of them better than others but trust me you will be going outside smelling ter like terrific trust me so without further ado let's get straight into this video now this first fragrance that i'm showing y'all is a great summer fragrance is jean paul gaultier le Boo. now this fragrance has that coconut with the tropical feeling and this fragrance is just like you just at a at a, like a rainforest right off the bat you get that coconut it's sensual you get a little sweetness in there just a little bit not too much Mm. And then you get that um that something undertone of the on that coconut. So it's sweet, you get the tropical feeling in there, and you do get the a vanilla that's undertone underneath, you know, in the base note, you get that vanilla. And this fragrance is a great, you know, fragrance. Now, this this Labou really this is actually my first john paul gautier le Boeuf fragrance this right here i cannot stop wearing this fragrance this fragrance just smells amazing great for those summer times it just absolutely you know breathtaking and you just can't go wrong with john paul gautier le Boeuf. i love what they did with this line you know i will be trying out that paradise garden real soon so y'all stay tuned for that and then officially, I have all the Labu. So, y'all, if y'all don't have this, make sure y'all go pick this up. John Paul Gaultier Labu. Last on your skin. You give it to about six hours, six to seven hours. And it projects really good. It's soft. It's not strong at all. And it will grab the women's attention. And it's great for those summer times. So, this next fragrance we have is... Prada Ocean Luna Rosa. Now, this fragrance is a great C note, you know, lavender with that um, vetiver in here. You do get that Haitian vetiver. So, we're going to spray this. And this is actually a great, great summertime fragrance. You know, casually going out. I feel like you can wear this every day. Mm. Right off the bat, you get those C notes, those watery notes. So basically, you at a beach. You know, you can visualize yourself. You at a beach with this fragrance. And it's like a mineral. And it's like minerals, you know, a hint like a mineral type of scent. And you do get that lavender that's really undertone in that below the watery notes. You do get that lavender popping up. And this fragrance really, you know... It lasts a long time. This fragrance lasts a long time. You know, it kind of reminds me of, you know, Aqua Di Gio, just a little bit, Profondo, just a little bit, just with that lavender. And you do get that hint, like a mineral note, so you can visualize yourself like at a beach. And you can do the same thing for Aqua Di Gio Profondo. You know, you can imagine yourself at a beach with that one. Great summertime fragrance. It's manly, it's masculine, even though that is yet fresh. And, you know, got that lavender in there with that vetiver. So it gets a little woodsy down the base note. And this fragrance really, you know, has my heart. I'm not going to lie. As you can see, it's still kind of full. But, y'all, I have been wearing this. I promise y'all. And you just can't go wrong with Prada, Ocean, Luna Rosa. This fragrance is just so amazing. So I highly suggest y'all pick this fragrance up. Prada, Ocean, Luna Rosa.
Now this next fragrance we have is a great ultimate, you know, summer and springtime fragrance. Valentino Yellow Dream. Now, this fragrance is a little different than the other Valentinos. As you know, the other Valentinos has that like core fantasy and the um intense, it has that sweetness and that you know that vetiver in there, which the yellow dream still has that vetiver, but this one is a leaning a little more on the you know fresh you know side they i'm guessing they want to make a little fresh one but that extravaganza is really really you know i seen the notes in that one and that really looks fresh too so you do still get that mm, okay you still get like a hint of like sweetness in there mm, you do get that vetiver right off the bat it's like very woodsy. Mm. Okay. I'm not going to lie, y'all. This fragrance is really unique in the Valentino line. Now, I love this. It's, it's masculine. It's manly. It really sets you apart from, you know, other people. Trust me. When you walk in with this one, Valentino Yellow Dream, you know you're the best smelling in the room. Like, you, people are just going to look at you and be like, bro, like, Bro, bro, you, you doing too much. Like, if you were at a wedding or something, they're going to be like, bro, you doing too much. Like, come on, man. Like, really. I'm trying to tell y'all, this Valentino Yellow Dream is really my top three in the line. And I would probably place this third. So, but it's not bad at all. This fragrance lasts a long time, projects really good, performs good, and smells amazing and great. For those summer and springtime months so i highly suggest y'all 10 out of 10 go pick this up valentino born aroma yellow dream now this next fragrance we have is this latafa hayati now this is a great freshy but what I like about it, it transitioned down to that sweetness of that cinnamon and it's sweet. So it starts off fresh. So in my opinion, I think this is really versatile because you get that fresh spiciness, you know, right off the bat. Mm, you can smell it. It's manly. It smells rich, luxurious. But I would say the atomizer, the way it spray out. It's cheap, but mm, it may it, this fragrance sm make you smell like a million dollars. Like, bro, like this, this right here, you get that fresh spiciness, mm, and you kind of can get that cinnamon trying to pick up that sweetness. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this fragrance right here is just crazy. Like. It's amazing how it it starts off so fresh and then it transitions to that sweetness like right off the bat. You know, maybe about you get that bergamot in there right off the bat. You get that bergamot most definitely. That citrus. Mm. And it's just amazing. You can smell that cinnamon that just picking up. And you kind of can get a little sandalwood in this fragrance. But this fragrance, I'll recommend this. If I had to rate this fragrance, I would give it about an 8 out of 10. I ain't going to lie. I'm, it's not bad. Like, it's not bad. Like, this fragrance, it just, like, I could actually see myself wearing this on a date night. Like, this right here is a versatile fragrance, in my opinion. You know, it's great for those fresh, you know, those summer, spring months because you get that freshness right off the bat, that bergamot, that citrus. And then it transitions down to the sweetness of that cinnamon. And it's just amazing, y'all. So, y'all, go pick up this fragrance, Latafa Hayati. You know, this right here, I love the Latafa line. Now, this next fragrance we have is the best, you know, Chanel. I love the line. You know, this is actually not the best, but my 
best one I ever had was the EOD Parfum. But we got Blue D Chanel EDT. This fragrance is a classic, formal fragrance, versatile. You can wear this to any occasion. Doesn't matter where. And as you can see, I'm almost out. I don't know if y'all can see the bottle, but I'm almost out of this. Like, I'm so out. As you can see, it's literally right there. That's how you know I've been using this so much, man. Like, maybe four sprays, it'll get this. I'm probably out of this. Like, this Blue de Chanel really hits. I have to get some more. But I think I'm going to try the Parfum version. That's the only one I haven't tried. Mm. You get that citrus, that freshness. You get, You still get that freshness throughout the whole wearable time. But you do get that wood note that's, you know, that's in the base note. So it gets a little woodsy. And right off the bat, you can smell that lemon. You can smell that lemon in that bergamot really, really, really good. And that's what I like about this fragrance. It doesn't, you can wear this every, every single day. Every single day. Blue de Chanel, you can wear this every single day. And you will step out with at least one compliment. At least one compliment. Y'all, at least one compliment, at least. And this fragrance, you can wear this to work, school, you know. You can wear this to a marriage if you want to. Like, put on your tuxedo or suit and tie. Trust me, you, you'll be all right. <clears throat> now, this next fragrance we have is, we have Amir Sadrat Essence. So... We're going to spray this on a test strip. And this fragrance is by Paris Corner. So this is my first Paris Corner fragrance. Mm, the atomizer just sprays out amazing. I like it. Mm, so right off the bat. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, you get, you get a real lemon note. Right off the bat. Mmm. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of things going on in this fragrance. So, you get like a jasmine note. Of course, you get like a water note, like a watery, some type of watery. And I'm not going to lie. It smells like a great plum note. Like, it smells like a plum. And it just, y'all, this scent is very addictive. Like, a Mirsa Drat Essence, man. Shout out to um Conscious Hip Hop, you know, for putting me on this fragrance by Paris Corner. And this this scent really, you know, it really hit me. And you just get that, I don't know, dog. Like, I don't know what it is, but what's severed under that lemon and that watery jasmine note is 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 very is hitting like it's mysterious. So it's a lot of things going on in this fragrance. But it's like a plum. You can smell like a plum in this fragrance. And it's great for those summer time, you know, and it does get woodsy. So you get that oak moss, you get that oak. And it's just really, really, really hits like this fragrance. And you do get a vanilla that's in this fragrance too. You do get a vanilla in the dry, in the, um, dry down. Which I can hardly smell it, but if you look at the notes, it's in the note breakdown in Frantica. But y'all, this fragrance, I highly recommend this fragrance, y'all. This fragrance it actually smells good. And like I say, right off the bat, you get that lemon note. It is kind of up uppity, you know, uppity tone. But give it about five minutes, it will wear down and you will get that jasmine beautiful note, that water jasmine. And I don't know, y'all. This fragrance is just it's you it's very unique it's very unique so i highly suggest y'all go pick this up great affordable you know fragrance so yeah now this next fragrance we have is jimmy chu man blue y'all i don't get why they got jimmy chu man ice and jimmy chu man aqua and jimmy chu man um intense they all smell fresh literally it's just one has that now I can't speak for ice and aqua, but 
for the intense. I know it got a little sweetness and lavender to it with a mix with the freshness. And it just really hits. So. Mm, okay, right off the bat. Fresh bergamot. Citrus. Mm. I don't know. It's like a it's like a rose note that I'm smelling. Mm. And it's like I don't know, y'all. This is this right here. I actually worn this, you know, a couple times. Jimmy Choo Man Blue. I actually worn this a couple times, and I, and it smells like you can go to work with this fragrance. Like this, like a work safe fragrance and it's not heavy at all it's not it's not strong it's not you know overbearing in any type of way it's soft fresh like with the hint of like you get like a fruitiness that's in this fragrance you do get like a fruit and it's just it, and it really hits like you wear this fragrance Trust me, you, 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 this right here, it performs decent. Trust me, guys, this fragrance performs decent. And in my opinion, it performs better than the Attempts. So it's really not that bad. But the Jimmy Choo Man Blue actually performs, you know, okay. I like it. You know, people will smell you with Jimmy Choo Man Blue. On my skin, you know, it lasts a long time, eight hours. And, y'all, this fragrance right here, is a great and i love the bottle like you get that blue like it just like you can see it from my perspective like that blue in the back of the fragrance is amazing and it gets darker at the top so guys make sure y'all go get this fragrance jimmy true man blue great fresh she you know like a hint of fruitiness in this fragrance so i highly suggest y'all go pick this up now this next fragrance we have is coach for men now this coach for men edt is a great great fragrance great luxurious smells rich you know smells like you bought your business basically trust me i know i wear this on and it's crazy how cologne can make you feel you know a type of way so it's amazing hmm Right off the bat, fresh, little woodsy note. Like a hint of fruitiness in here, too. You get do get like a fruitiness. Mm. And you get like a little woodsy note that's in this fragrance. So I'm guessing it's not vetiver. I know I'm not smelling vetiver in here. And it just, it smells amazing. I think this fragrance is versatile. You can wear this to work, school, it's safe. Is not overbearing, it's soft and performs really good and lasts on your skin all day. Trust me, it, this fragrance lasts on your skin all day. They will smell you with Coach for Men. This fragrance, I got this at my um store, fragrance store. And, you know, I first smelled this, I smelled the Coach green, the green, um, the black, the blue, and when I smelled all of them, the green, it, it 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 was not all that to me. I'm not gonna lie, the the green was not all that. But to me, the best one in my opinion that I smelled was the black. I like the black. I love it. You know that you can't go wrong with the EDT Coach for Men. So, guys, y'all go pick this up, Coach for Men EDT Black. Now, this next fragrance we have is a great OG fragrance. You know, we got Burberry for Men OG. So, y'all know I got to have my OG fragrance. I have to. This fragrance is a great signature scent of bergamot. You do get like a little lemon that's in this fragrance. It's not heavy. Um... And it just really smells good. It's a great signature scent, great everyday scent. You know, great for those springtime, summertime. 
and you cannot go wrong with you know bear bear og this fragrance is an addictive scent it smells fresh great freshy you know bear bear is just you know undeniably one of the best lines in my opinion i love especially for a designer you know bear bear has a great line i like it I do have my Burberry. This is the first Burberry that I ever picked up. And this fragrance has really started me on my collection. Burberry for men actually started me on my collection. And, you know, I got to give a shout out to Burberry because they really did their thing with their fragrance line. It lasts on your skin a long time and projects really good. So if you're looking for a gift for Father's Day, y'all women, get y'all man Burberry for men OG. Or you get him Aqua de Geo. So, if y'all don't have that, make sure y'all go pick that up. Now, this next fragrance we have is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy, the electric Cobalt. So, this fragrance has notes of that pink pepper, that rose accords in this fragrance. Mm. And you do get like a freshness in this fragrance. You do get a freshness. Mm. It smells like a flower. You do get like a flower, you know, like a type of flower scent. And it's just amazing. Like, I literally got a compliment with this fragrance when I was at work. I wore this fragrance at work one time. I had a, I had a, you know, she looked like she was about 50, 60 something, you know, in her 60s. And she gave me a compliment. She was like, whatever you got on, that smells lovely like she said she said it just like this y'all that smells lovely like you make me want to follow you around the store I, in my head i was like oh wow please don't do that please please don't do that but i said thank you you know i have on carolina herrera bad boy uh electric kabak you know she did tell me what they my had on but you know this fragrance is a compliment getter okay i'm trying to tell y'all Y'all, if y'all don't have this fragrance, that pink pepper, I think it's just that pink pepper, that flower note, and it just really gives it, you know, that touch. Like, I don't know, y'all. If y'all don't have this, y'all pick this up. This fragrance lasts eight hours and performs really well. So this next fragrance we have is Aqua DGO by Giorgio Armani Profondo. This fragrance lasts a long time. Did I spray this? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So this fragrance lasts a long time. Performs really good. You get like a sea mineral note in this fragrance. Of course, watery notes. Great summertime, springtime fragrance. And it works really well. Really, really good. Mm. You get that lavender. And it's just masculine, it's manly, and it's it's really crisp. It's like a crisp bergamot, like a scent, like a crisp, fresh, you know, lavender with that bergamot, citrus, and with that watery notes, you get that sea mineral notes. Mm. And this fragrance is just so, so, so amazing. Now, I love when fresh fragrance transition down to woodsy notes and uh, still has that freshness because it's that top note, it can it can stay throughout the whole wearable time. It can stay. People think that top note just go away five minutes. No, that's not necessarily, necessarily mean that it's going to go away. No, it can stay throughout the whole wearable time. You might can't smell some notes that's in the fragrance, but you can smell the main notes that they put in the fragrance. You can smell that the most. And you may smell a little hint of it too, but y'all, this fragrance is just amazing. Y'all go pick this up. Great freshy, great, great compliment getter. Great, you know, man scent and lasts a long time. So y'all go pick this up. Now this next fragrance we have is legend red mont blanc you know for men well legend mont blanc red yeah that's what it is okay spread this on the test strip 
as you know that this fragrance has this is actually the newest one i think they came out if not y'all correct me but this fragrance got that crisp bergamot lemon with the vanilla in this fragrance and it does get a little powdery this fragrance is just amazing y'all i'm not gonna lie i love the legend red i love it like actually this was a gift from my mom actually shout out to her she you know she gave me this gift this legend red mm. and this fragrance is just it's a seductive addictive fresh but yet fresh you know manly scent and that what really gets me it's i really just like this fragrance it's very great for those casual wear you know great for those summer springtime months and maybe can work well in the fall because of that vanilla that powderness that's in this fragrance so guys make sure y'all go get this legend mont blanc red now this last but not least we have versace edt pour home now i love this fragrance this fragrance has opened up with that that freshness that rose to my note that bergamot and that rose to my note really just pops off with versace like that rose to my note you really get in this fragrance is crazy like it's crazy and it makes it smell a little bit more not feminine i want to say but more like a flowery type of you know because of that rose note and it really transitioned down to like a lovely scent and a unique scent but this fragrance lasts a long time and projects good so i highly suggest y'all go pick this fragrance up now i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know i hope every last one out there feeling good looking good dressing good and most importantly about smelling good and it's your boy trey fragrance and i will see y'all in the next video